Do you do know what we're taking on? Yes. You know the dangers? I do. This is a serious undertaking. It's not fucking astral projection or runes. This is real stuff we're playing with. Real angels, real demons. I know this. You read cunts on the internet saying it's just mental states. That you're, that you're guiding angels, your higher self. Psychobabble bollocks. So you'll go for days without sleep, fasting, back-breaking rites, ritual sex. You'll be at the very edge. Are you uh, ready for all that? Darling. I am. I've read up in the Kabbalah. <laughs> you don't think this is a tree of Sephiroth? Because cause it's not. Um. <laughs> You've been looking shit up on the internet. No, Ruth, this is Gnosticism. I was told it was based on the Kabbalah. It's there as grammar. A structure. The Kabbalah's an exploration of God. We're doing something much darker. Begin the meditation sitting or lying in a comfortable position. Breathe deeply and evenly for a few moments to relax your mind and body. Let the Thonos working begin. Over the clothes that you are wearing, a black hooded robe now appears. In front of you is a black cloth veil bearing the eight-rayed star of chaos in silver. Draw this veil to one side. Revealed before you is a wall of dark rock with a heavy oak door set into it. The door bears no lock or handle. In place of a keyhole, there is a large circular plate of grey metal. Visualize an upright pentagram onto the metal plate. The door swings slowly inward.
advance through the door into a rough-hewn rock passageway. The passageway slopes downwards as you continue. The walls are lit by a faint eerie glow from the rock itself. The passage levels out and after a few more steps you are standing between a pair of doors on either side of the passage. The doors are of a similar design to the first door. Turn to face the door on your left. This door bears a glowing yellow square. It is the temple of evocation. Visualize an upright pentagram onto the metal disc on the door. The door swings silently and slowly inwards. Enter the temple to find it lit by a glow from a central yellow altar in the form of a double cube. Any instruments that you may require will appear on this altar. The temple is a large cubic cavity in the rock and its walls and floors and ceilings are uniformly black. In this temple Perform whatever acts of evocation you have willed.
prepare to leave the temple of evocation. As you pass out of the door, it closes behind you. Step across the passageway to stand before the other door. This door bears a glowing green crescent. It is the temple of divination. Visualize an upright pentagram onto the metal disc on the door. The door swings silently and slowly inwards. Enter the temple to find it lit by a greenish glow from a large crystal sphere supported on a bronze tripod. The temple is a cubic cavity with blank walls. In one corner is a box containing any instruments that you may require. In this temple, perform whatever acts of divination you have willed.
to leave the temple of divination. As you pass out of the door, it closes behind you. Turn to your right and advance down the passageway. After a short distance, you are standing between another pair of doors. Turn to the door on your left. This door bears a glowing red triangle. It is the temple of enchantment. Visualize an upright pentagram onto the metal disc on the door. The door swings silently and slowly inwards. Enter the temple to find it lit by a red glow from a central altar. The altar is in an inverted pyramid with its apex embedded in the floor and its flat square base uppermost. Any instruments that you may require appear on the altar. The temple is a cubic ca cavity of grey rock with a circular aperture in the wall opposite the door. The aperture opens out to a limitless dark void. In this temple, perform whatever acts of enchantment you have willed.
prepare to leave the Temple of Enchantment. As you pass out of the door, it closes behind you. Step across the passageway to stand before the other door. This door bears a glowing blue circle. It is the Temple of Invocation. Visualize an upright pentagram onto the metal disc on the door. The door swings silently and slowly inwards. Enter the temple to find it lit by a band of glowing white marble that makes a large circle on the floor. The temple is a cubic cavity of grey rock. Enter the circle and stand in its centre. Any instruments that you may require will appear when commanded to do so whilst you remain in the circle. In this temple, perform whatever acts of invocation you have willed.
prepare to leave the temple of invocation. As you pass out of the door, it closes behind you. Turn to your right and continue along the passageway. A few steps ahead, there is a massive iron trap door set into the floor of the passageway. This is the pit of the demon Karonzon. As you approach, the trapdoor swings upward with the sound of strange eldritch machineries. As you proceed, the air becomes hot and begins to stink of death. At last, you enter an irregular chamber strewn with rubble. Yellowish bones are scattered on the floor. A human figure confronts you. Its face is a grinning skull with shreds of withered flesh flaking from it. The figure is clothed in a black robe which is tattered and filthy. It extends a skeletal hand towards you. You take a pace back, but the hideous creature advances upon you. As its withered hand snatches for your throat, you feel a sudden jolt. Instantly, the face of the apparition becomes your own face that you are looking at. The shock causes you to collapse. The figure disappears, but now you are disintegrating. The flesh dries and cracks from your face. You are disintegrating. The muscles of your limbs begin to flake away to the dust. You are disintegrating. Your belly splits open and your guts uncoil like snakes. You are disintegrating. Your ribs collapse onto shriveled lungs and heart. You are disintegrating. All that you ever did and all that you ever were become nothing. You are disintegrating. You can remember nothing of who you were. Your mind is blank. Reclothe your vital force with a mind and personality. 
and the memory until you are whole again. Facing the trap door. The trap door closes silently back into the floor, covering the pit and opening the way forward. Step over the closed trap door and proceed along the passageway. You come to a halt in front of the final door at the end of the passageway. This door bears an egg-shaped design which sparkles with a thousand colors. This is the temple of illumination. Visualize an eight-rayed star of chaos onto the metal disc on the door. The door swings silently and slowly inwards. Enter the temple to find it lit by a sparkling radiance from the multifaceted crystal walls. The room is empty save for yourself, yet any instruments you may require will appear on command. In this temple, perform whatever acts of illumination you have willed.
prepare to leave the temple of illumination. As you pass out of the door, it closes behind you. Continue down the passageway. Step over the closed trapdoor to the pit. Pass the doors of the temples of enchantment and invocation. Continue and pass the doors of the temples of evocation and divination. Ascend the passageway and pass out of the door by which you entered. Turn to face the door. It swings silently and slowly shut. Draw across the black veil bearing the eight-rayed star of chaos. The Thonos working is at an end. You are arrayed in your normal clothing. Arise and go forth. ask does the question bother you it's actually a bit of an ontological issue you know what I mean I would say no we're not trying to hurt anyone but we're doing dark things and would you do black magic there's no point in going to the fairground if you don't go on any of the rides have you seen much <laughs> well, I've seen things I've seen gods, demons. I've had gods rain silver on me. And the dead and the damned. Most of us are damned, you know. Have you seen anything that scared you? It all scares me. Is that the point? No, the point is to know. To fucking know. And to see the architecture and the levers to climb the mountain. Power. Knowledge. Fucking stop this. Time for bed.